Oh no, where's the light? Where's the light? Oh God, oh God, it burns. Oh, wow. Well, that's one way of waking up. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Nerds and Nutrition. It is Leslie. It is Wednesday, October 12th, and welcome to another Way in Wednesday. Again, I do apologize for missing last week. Um, as I had mentioned in my vegan favorites tag, in case uh, you haven't watched it, there was a health scare in the family a couple weeks ago. Fortunately, everyone and everything is all right, but I have to admit emotions were running high for a little while, and I fell into some old habits of just snacking, not eating as much raw fruits and vegetables. I had really been slacking on exercise. Um, so I am pretty much guaranteeing some kind of gain this week. Um, so brace yourselves because I am already bracing for it. So two weeks ago, I weighed in at 142.8 and, uh, all right, guys, let's just, let's see what damage I did. And I make it, and I'm turning on the scale, and we're stepping on that scale, turning around the phone. And I'm gonna keep on singing. All right. 145.2, so about two and a half pounds over the last two weeks. Insert tantrum here. Alrighty guys, so yes, again over the last two weeks, but you know what? Stuff happens. Life gets in the way sometimes, and you can't be perfect all the time. This week, a friend of mine had reached out to me and was really discouraged in her weight loss journey. Uh, she stepped on the scale and it was a few pounds heavier despite having eaten well, uh, gotten some exercise, and she was really discouraged to the point where she was ready to just up and quit her weight loss journey. And I just, I want to remind her, I want to remind you, and sometimes I need to remind myself that our bodies naturally fluctuate every single day and multiple times throughout the day. A gain can be water weight if you um, are holding on to excess water weight. Drink some more water. Pee your brains out. Do whatever you have to do to move those excess fluids. Um, and really, this, this number on the scale, again, is just that. It's a number on the scale. It's just a way to gauge where you are throughout the week, throughout every two weeks, throughout the month, however often you decide to weigh yourself. I just don't want you to become obsessed with that number on the scale. That doesn't define you as a person. You can kick that to the curb. Really, if you want to measure how you're doing in your journey, pay attention to how your clothes are fitting if you're not too excited about stepping on that scale. So, um, I know what I have to do this week. I have to get back on my, uh, my spin bike. I got to keep doing my squats, my lunges, um, you know, start using my dumbbells for my arm exercises again. Um, I did ride my spin bike for a half hour last night. I worked up an awesome sweat and it felt great. So I just need to start doing that again. Um, and maybe next time something comes up and emotions start running high, I can keep this situation in mind and try a different tactic so I don't end up in this position again. Just a thought. Anyways, guys, uh, that's that. Uh, weigh in Wednesday, number eight, I believe. Um, let me know if these videos are helping you guys. I just want to make sure that what I'm doing and what I'm saying is helping you guys along your journey because I know that it's helping me. Um, you know, it's definitely holding me accountable and I'm grateful for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. Just remember, we are changing culture one plate at a time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Eat some awesome vegan food. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel should you like to watch any more Way in Wednesdays in the future. And I will talk to you guys later.